Hola my beauties, welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hello my name is Gurish Kaur and in today's video, first of all, just take a moment, can you just tell that I'm wearing two different completely budgets of makeup right here. So one side of my face is more high-end and the other is more affordable. Please take a moment and comment down below which one it is do you think right now before you actually watch the entire video. Uh, the high end side of my face is this and it costs this much. Editor, do the job, do the total, <laughs> put it here, okay? And the affordable side of my face costs this much. And dude, kid, could you even tell from the first sight that this is all high end whereas this goodness is uh, so, so affordable? I couldn't to be very honest if I was looking at this face I could not even tell there are two different you know makeup products of different budgets used in here regardlessly this defines that you don't have to have like crazy budgets to look good and create a snatched makeup look and that's what we're doing in today's video I used my most expensive makeup products on this side of my face and my most affordable makeup products on this side of my face and I am shook it by the results it was a process but we got there by the end of it all and it's pretty worth it like that's looking pretty worth it I tell you so yeah to know more how I got this look and some really good product recommendations keep on watching Alrighty guys, I've already done my brows off camera because I don't really own a high-end brow product so I just used the L'Oreal brow palette and did my brows well. However, to conceal the brows, first of all, this is going to be my high-end makeup side. So basically I'm using the most expensive makeup I own on this side of my face and again the cheapest makeup I own on this side of my face. And when I say cheap, I mean in terms of price and not really quality. So for this side I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, it retails for 3200 rupees whereas here we have the Swiss Beauty Concealer which retails for 229 rupees. So well that's like more than 10 times of the Swiss Beauty Concealer, well well well. I'll just quickly go ahead and carve out my brows and also prep my eyelids with this. Okay, so the concealer is on now for the eyeshadow palette. So I don't know uh, how especially, you know, the drugstore slash cheap makeup eyeshadow will perform. So I prefer to do my eyes first. And for that, the high end side, we have the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival XL Pro palette. I got this 2 years ago, so it's like pretty done and dusted. It really, however, is one of the most beautiful eyeshadow palettes I own. It's so, so pretty. It has every color you need. The quality of this palette is just another level. I literally hit pans on some of the shades. That's how good it is. And I actually got this one for 5,000 or 5,200 from an Instagram page. So that is that. It retails for thereby 5,000 rupees and is one of the most expensive palettes I own apart from the Tati Beauty palette that I that also I got for 5200 rupees but since Tati Beauty as a brand is discontinued I feel this would be a good pick for today's video so the high inside we got this palette and to beat this beauty we got uh, not one but actually two what do you say uh, cheap makeup palettes or I'll prefer the word drugstore for the video if you don't mind okay so on the drugstore side we got these two palettes this one is the Swiss Beauty ultimate shadow palette this also I got like bohat pehle and I've only used it once or twice it was pretty decent I'm not gonna lie However, this one is like by Blue Heaven. I got it for some video that I never did, like trying the cheapest makeup and stuff like that. And this one, to be very honest, does not look very promising. Looks very like child makeup and mm, this does not look very promising to say the least. However, I'll try my best to use these two palettes to create a look that would be at least a similar to the one I created with the Be Perfect one. So I'll take a moment and actually choose and come up with some look that can be you know uh, <laughs> achieved with these palettes 
that is looked on the Blue Heavens website and Nykaa everywhere to check the MRP for this palette and realize this palette has been discontinued by the brand so again I'm not really going to use this and stick to my Swiss Beauty Ultimate Shadow Palette today this baby right here retails for 2 to 9 rupees again so to start I'm gonna first of all pick this black eyeshadow from the you know Be Perfect Cosmetics palette and start packing it on the high end side so I'm packing the shadow in a C shape trying to do a classic rounded sort of a blend I guess that's enough and with a different pencil brush I'm gonna go ahead and pick this black shadow however this one I don't know if it's I mean the camera is catching it or not it's basically a shimmery black shadow and has these sequin on it so I'll see how we can make it work oh but it's still pretty pigmented so far better than I expect I have used this palette once but it was like way back in the day now I do have hopes from the Swiss Beauty palette to be honest it's really packing in well Alright, and now to blend out the black, I'm actually going to use a pink shadow and I'm using this pink right here, the one I have, you know, even uh, hit a pan on apparently. This is what I'm going to pick and blend out the black. And be really gentle, soft and patient with that blend. Alright, so a couple of minutes later, being at it, like blending it out, this is what the blend looks like. I really like it. The black gave it so much like intensity, yet it's like a smooth blend that I really, really like. Alright, and onto the other side, I'll clean my brush. Yeah, I'll just clean my brush up really quick. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this pink shade from the palette and try to start packing it along the black and blending sideways you know what this eyeshadow palette is pretty good for its price I tell you this blend will indeed take a couple of minutes I'll see you in a bit alrighty guys I have been at it trying to blend this eye for a while now to be very honest it's bothering me a little that the black is not as seamlessly blending in with the pink so I don't know if you can see or not this looks a lot more well blended is my black blend karne ki try karte karte upar bhi chala gaya thoda and yeah this blend is just <laughs> it's okay I mean the price difference well uh, but it's not bad like the shadows were pigmented it's just that the black it's in specific does not seem as blendable so I should not have ideally packed it first uh, I just assumed that it's gonna blend easy, but that's not the case. Anyways, moving ahead, I'm planning to put on this gold shimmer because I do have like a similar gold shimmer in this palette also. So I'm just trying doing like a half cut crease of sorts without actually cutting my crease. <sighs> so good. It's so opaque and wow, just, just wow. Just going to tap on the edge with my finger as always. Taking the black shadow brush, just softening. So with a clean brush, now I'm gonna pick the gold from this palette. Not bad. Swiss Beauty did not disappoint. Like surprised. So both the cut creases do look like slightly different but if I'm being very honest both performed very very well like both the eyeshadow palettes especially Swiss Beauty has been like a pleasant surprise in this video. Good stuff. <laughs> so I really like the eyes now I'll go off camera put on a pair of lashes and we'll be back to do the skin together. Alrighty guys, so I'm back with lashes on and now let's get this skin ready. So for that, on the high end side, I have the Gucci Beauty Primer. It's this silk priming serum. And on the affordable side, to compete that, we have the Insight Cosmetics Primer. This is the 3-in-1 primer that primes, protects and moisturizes. So yeah, just put them on. 
So this is what the Gucci Beauty Primer looks like. Seems like a white serum, all right. Oh, I was about to put it on both sides of my face. Okay, only here. <laughs> In that case, so I have a lot of primer. Well, it actually gives like a soft focus, soft blur effect, and slightly mattifies. It's not uh, what do you say exactly mattifying or super, you know, like super sucking on shine types. But it gives like a soft blur photo focus effect that I really like. One thing I've noticed with the Gucci primer that all my foundations lay on very very beautifully on top of this. So whilst the Gucci primer is sitting on my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Instite one. It's actually a clear silicone based primer. Can you see that? It's a clear silicone based primer and it's also very very inexpensive I'm not the biggest fan of this primer to be honest a lot of people really really like it I just feel it's a very average silicone based primer now I'm going to allow both the primers sit on my skin for like a couple of minutes before moving on to the foundation Alright, so primers have had a couple of minutes to marinate on my face. Now onto the foundation. For the high-end side, I got the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. It's actually one of my favorite foundations, to be honest. But it's pretty expensive. However, on the affordable side, we got the Blue Heaven Cosmetics Oil Free Stick Foundation. This one radiates for only rupees 95. I have the shade here, Natural Glow, which seems pretty light and pretty pretty pink uh, pink tone for my skin so to correct that and to just make it match up and even out I again picked the Biotic natural makeup foundation so I'll be using a mix of these two to make me look like you know to make the skin look like skin at least and this one also I have in the shade 04 yeah so so I have the NARS foundation on the back of my hand. I'll dot it to see how much I need to do half my face well. I guess that was enough. That was like one and a half pumps probably. The pumps are not so huge on this one anyways. I'm going to use my beauty blender blend it out it's such a good match such a good foundation in general so if you want to invest in like a good luxury foundation the NARS one is definitely it I tell you bro I mean it when I say the Gucci primer combined with the NARS foundation my skin is looking so good right now it's unreal how much like how how perfect the skin is looking the pores are blurred so nicely the foundation is sitting so beautifully on top of the skin it looks like skin and not really like foundation sitting on top of his skin to begin with i really like it hmm all right, and now for the affordable side, I'm gonna go ahead with the Blue Heaven Stick Foundation to begin with. It's in the shade 04 Natural Glow. And this is apparently the darkest shade, which is like, well, no words. Oh. I don't know why I was expecting it to be more pigmented, but it's like barely any pigment coming off. And it's supremely pink on me anyways it's like flesh color the flesh color crayon color it's very very pale and pink probably on somebody with a cooler pinker you know pinkier undertone it would look lovely but on me it's like no 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 the color is actually really bad so what i'll do is i'll actually mix the biotique one as i you know presumed that it will be required uh this is again in the shade sand and this one is a lot more yellow so I guess it will balance it out since I know the coverage is going to be slightly less only I'll actually take a brush instead and pick up the biotic one on the brush and then just blend it all out just going to use the blender on the intersection to kind of 
blend them together. Uh, Alright, so the base does not look bad in totality. I kind of evened it out a bit and it does not look bad. It's just that definitely uh, the Blue Heaven foundation, it's sticking onto my facial hair and not sitting well in this part for some apparent reason. And it's also like lower, lesser on coverage as compared to the NARS side well. Regardlessly, I would definitely like to clear out. It's not a high-end versus affordable battle exactly. It's mera sabse mehenga makeup product versus mera sabse sasta makeup product so we can like most certainly expect you know thodi quality is ki better hi hogi because it's so expensive and should be well <laughs> ki iski quality agar itna mehenga ho ke bhi better nahi hai so you know what's the point so definitely the quality of nars foundation is is like something I really really like and something like this is an investable foundation but the blue heaven one though I really did not like the biotech one however is a good uh, foundation as a BBCC cream or like on a daily basis so yeah that's that for the concealers again gonna use the same we used earlier to prep our lids the Tarte one versus the Swiss Beauty one just spoiler alert I really really like the Swiss Beauty one the Tarte one is just more full coverage a little more self setting and more matte like this one is really hydrating creamy medium coverage but really like this one loving both the sides definitely this one has more coverage as compared to this one however I suppose the powder will fix that and for that we have these two loose powders to set our face the high end side got Fenty Beauty Pro Filter loose powder it's in the variant butter it's a translucent powder and on this side we got the Mars trend setting powder which only retails for 200 rupees by the way and is one of the best drugstore powders one of the best for sure this is actually a very very good translucent powder that too like for 200 rupees just get it okay Alrighty guys, time to contour slash bronze up my face and for the high end side, I have this ugly looking yet a very expensive product. That's the Huda Beauty Tantor. It's in the variant light. It's used up and how and looks pretty disgusting on camera. I have powdered up my face but it's actually a very interesting cream to powder formula. Just make sure you're using a denser brush and tapping it and it does not disturb the powder underneath and so it's so beautifully on top of the skin so i don't have a cream or a powder bronzer really that matches this one to the t but i do have this mammoth glow compact it reduces for 500 rupees and it's actually a compact powder but it's like a shade or two darker for me and it's also very very warm so i think it will go you know as a good match to this one to just balance it out i do have a contour under rupees 300 that is the sugar one but then again that's very very cool tone and since we're very warm on this side that will not really suit the look as well so i'll preferably pick this That jugar did work out better than I expected. Now for the blush again, I have these two options. The high-end one is by MAC. It's their Glow Play Blush in the way it groovy. It's such a beautiful, beautiful corally blush. One of my absolute favorite coral blushes. And then on the uh, affordable side, we have the Blue Heaven Shimmer Matte Blush. This one is in the variant 503. And this one also surprisingly enough is such a good blush. It looks so good on the skin. Like on the skin you can't even tell I'm wearing. The MAC one is actually broken so I'll be a little careful with that. Regardlessly it's very pigmented so I don't need to go in very hard. The eye look is actually pretty pink. I know pink blush would have looked better but this is the most expensive blush I own. For the affordable side again. On the skin you actually can't tell them apart they're literally a dupe for each other alrighty guys next up for highlighter I got actually a pretty nice dupe almost so on the high-end side we have the Fenty Beauty 
Mean Money Hustler Baby Highlighter, the ever so famous cult highlighter. It's pretty damn expensive and on the affordable side we got this sugar highlighter. It's in the variant Metal Metal. I'm going to pick the shade Hustler Baby. Uh, the tip of my nose, the bridge, uh, my chin, and this side of my forehead. Then I'm going to dip into the sugar highlighter for the affordable side. This is only for rupees 300 and such a good highlighter if I'm being honest. These two are so beautiful and look so identical on the skin. It's mad. Alright and for the lips let's get started because it's a whole lip combo in here. Uh, then for the lip liner to begin with we got here the MAC lip liner it's in the variant Shikari and for the affordable side we have the Swiss Beauty lip liner it's in the variant Bobbi Brown. I could really use a sharpener with these lip liners but pure ghar mein I can't find one sharpener right now so I'm just going to try and map my way out with this pencil. I did overline a little too much, I guess, especially around the corner. I'll clean it up later. Uh, this other one, yeah. The Swiss Beauty one on the affordable side. Again, these are not like exact dupes, but these are good alternatives because it's like pretty close if I tell you. And for the actual lip, I got two options. I'm not very sure how dupable they are. But they're pretty close because I wanted to really keep on with the theme of high end and affordable and not just try to find dupes. So on the high end side we got this Smashbox always on liquid lipstick. It's in the variant Stepping Out. And on the affordable side we got the Blue Heaven Hyper Stay liquid lipstick. It's in the variant Light Coffee. Alright, that's what Stepping Out looks like. Then light coffee. Yeah, I mean, they do look slightly off. I'll allow this one to settle down as well. To be very honest, surprisingly enough, I would prefer the Blue Heaven formula over Smashbox, especially when it comes to these two liquid lipsticks. This one is so good, surprisingly so, so, so good. Such a lightweight, it feels like nothing on your lips. And this one is also like thicker, the formula. I've just really been into really lightweight liquid lipsticks lately and this one is a very good pick, yeah. Now to actually even out both the lip colors, I picked glosses in accordance to that. So on the high end side, I picked the Fenty Beauty Gloss in the variant Fenty Glow. So this one has some color to it. Whereas on the affordable side, I picked the Swiss Beauty Gloss Me Clear Lip Gloss. And just hope that now they look somewhat similar. And this one on the other side. Yeah, at least they will not look like very stark apart, you know. It's not stark difference the nail like that. And that's the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and got some good recommendations for luxury products that are like worth it to invest in and good affordable products that are equally as good as luxury products when it comes to performance. Loved creating this video. I really hope you liked it. That's all for today. I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.